Hey all you baseball fans out there, welcome to the 2012 MLB Fan Cave here in the heart of Manhattan on 4th and Broadway. My name is Gordon, one of the nine cave dwellers, and we're here to give you an exclusive look inside the Fan Cave. So come check it out. So here it is, the MLB Fan Cave. This place was designed by Mike Brown and Lot 71 is 15,000 square foot place here in Manhattan. And we're here to watch 2,430 games. And of course, if you gotta watch that many games, you need to have a lot of TVs. So Sony provided us with 45 flat screen TVs. But nowhere, more importantly, than on the Cave Monster, where we have 15 TVs showing all the games whenever they're going on at the same time. And if we're gonna watch all these games, you gotta have some nice furniture to sit around. And this entire living area was provided by Resource Furniture, so we can sit back and enjoy the game. What's up guys, it's Sean and I'm here in the music area. Over here we've got a bass, we got amps, we got drums, and we got guitars. All this is donated to us by Fender. We're gonna be jamming out over here all the time. Moving forward, we'll move over here to probably the best seat in the house. This is the throne given to us by Live Chic. And it's so comfortable, I wish I could watch every game in it. Moving forward over here, this is our photo booth. We take pictures on here, and they're stickable when you print them out, and we stick them all over the walls. So anyone that comes in, we want to take a picture with them right here and fill this whole fan cave with pictures. This right here, this is a portrait made by Mikhail Hamid, and it's actually not even a portrait, it is a speaker. You actually can play through your phone on the Bluetooth, and it will come through this speaker throughout the fan cave so that everyone can hear the music off of your phone. How cool is that? And then this big guy right here, this is the home run slide. Anywhere you are in this fan cave, a home run goes off, you run to the top of it and come right down. Hey, my name is Ashley and I'm gonna take you to my favorite part of the fan cave, the game room. Over here we have our pool table by Imperial with our awesome MLB fan cave logo on top. And the best part about our pool table is that we have pool balls for all 30 teams. Um, of course we're playing with the best one. I wouldn't have it any other way. And then right over here is our ski ball table. This right here, we're still a little shaky on. Um, we're working on hitting those 100 pointers the whole time, so we'll all be at 900 points, which is the, the max. And then right over here is our shuffleboard table by Budweiser. Hey, this is Benjamin in front of the Rawlings Wall of Fame. We've got ball skins from Rawlings for all the musicians, celebrities, and players that come by. Just passed up Kevin Millar, got him! 2004 World Series champion. Ball string, and then finishing up with a painting by Daniel Fenelon. Hey, this is Ricky. I'm standing on some of our uh, squishy uh, floor tile art here by Giacomo. You can uh, make your own art every time you take a step. Right over here, we've got some of our original artwork by uh, Jason Bourbet, which leads you right here to the Fan K500. Uh, we've got our awesome race car graphic here, and everything is stacked on our Firestone tires. What's up guys, I'm Lindsay, standing underneath our awesome graffiti wall done by our graffiti artist Slim. He did the MLB Fan Cave last year and was nice enough to come back this year and set us up with some awesome artwork. Now, walking along our Pepsi Cola wall, I've gotta ask you guys a really important question. Can I rock this look? No? All right, I'll leave that one for Raleigh. Now, I've gotta give a big shout out to Scott's. They threw us an awesome opening day party. The MLB Fan Cave smelled exactly like it should on opening day, like grass. The dirt bar here, there are 30 dirts from every single ballpark across the country. So for instance, Target Field. Dirt for my favorite ball club, tastes like a World Series championship. What's going on guys, this is Ricardo, and when the Cave Monster releases its grips on us cave dwellers, we actually like to come up into the VIP area known as the Pepsi Porch. On top of that, we actually have the State Farm Roof Deck, where MLB players and celebrities can go to bat for charity by participating in MLB The Show's Home Run Derby. With every home run hit, State Farm will donate $200 for charity. And that, my friends, is not too shabby. Hi, my name is Eddie Mata, and we're at the Club Lounge downstairs where interior decorator Lillian August designed three exclusive VIP spots. Now, I love this light blue color. It's not a navy blue, like my Yankees, 
but I'm still feeling it. Now this section matches the home uniforms. Commissioner Seely, our VIP booth is ready. How's it going? This is Kyle. I'm on the other side of the VIP lounge. If you get tired of lounging, you can just come over here and enjoy some of our arcade games. Let's go ahead and go over to the Budweiser bar. Just like with one of our VIPs, you can watch one of the games and you can belly up to the bar and have a delicious Budweiser. And that's our tour. We'll be here all season long, outfitted with majestic jerseys and new era caps. So come on by to the MLB Fan Cave. Game's on. Can you get out of the way, please? Yeah. 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 yeah.